Hello, my wonderful friends, viewers, and subscribers of the interwebs. Tis I, one, back again, to bring you... Uh, well, okay, I'm not really bringing you anything, but I am showing you something today. One of my all-time favorite games, so well, I should say one of my favorite games in my favorite se series to date, in my favorite Mega Man series of all things. I am bringing you today Mega Man X6, uh, some gameplay footage, and a discussion about what's going on with the 25th anniversary and where the hell are all the fans in now and what kind of world has uh, what kind of world this has become because of the way Capcom operates first I'd like to start by saying that I am very cynical about this this whole 25th anniversary in fact I feel like it's already fucking ruined it, there's no excuse for them to have a, a 25 year anniversary while having cancelled three games in the most recent of years. You're telling me that Mega Man Universe, Mega Man Online, and Mega Man Legends 3, all of which were in production far before now, not not too far, I don't know how many years that has been in the work of uh, Legends 3 in particular, uh, but people have been waiting for it for over 10 years, over a decade. I'm one of those people. I've been playing these games since I was a kid. It's all crazy right now. I don't know what to think. Uh, one of these days, I would just love to punch out the first person I meet who works at Capcom Japan. At this point, it's pretty obvious that KG and Afune had some kind of problem with them, like with the employees at Capcom. They don't really like what he said, what he's done, what kind of influence he's trying to be on the gaming industry. It's pretty apparent to me that because of what happened, what may have transpired between him and the upper management at Capcom, that Mega Man is in a state of limbo, or maybe near death. Maybe he's already dead. I can't tell. I'm cynical, but I would also love to be proven wrong. I mean, I do talk shit a lot about the gaming industry to everyone that I know, and I make these videos questioning decisions just like so many others out there do, but I don't say this because I want to be truthful, I'm saying this because I want to be proven wrong. I don't want to be right about any of any of the crap I say. Not even half, not all of it. So yeah, I'm really not happy about where we're going these days. In fact, I do have one thing that I would like to get off my chest. It's a statement made by Capcom recently. They've said that they are planning to celebrate a future with Mega Man up to the 50th anniversary, that this is what they want to do. In fact, let me read it to you. I got this from the Mega Man Network. I will link it in the description below, but let me read it to you just to see how they think and what they have to say to their public relations. A quote from Nintendo Power. A question from them. They ask, what does the future hold for Mega Man? And Christian Spenson from Capcom USA goes on to say that I can say with certainty that you've not seen the last of the Blue Bomber on consoles and handhelds and with luck will be celebrating his 50th anniversary, including all of the games you're going to enjoy over the next 25 years. That said, an issue we've had in the past has been talking about games and announcing them before we're certain they're going to come out, which unfortunately has led to profound disappointment for many fans. So for now, I'm going to have to say mum about any details. Okay, uh, not a lot of people notice this, but it's not just about Mega Man being in his games, alright? We've had Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 featuring Zero, but no Mega Man. And the costume, the costume isn't even the real article, that's the problem. Imagine, imagine if all this crap still happened and he got included in one of the most high-profile fighting games. It would feel like some kind of compensation. People would love it. I mean, they'd probably still need Capcom, but but not this point. Not to the brink of uh, of their sick. All right. I mean, God already knows how they've gotten by with Street Fighter and Resident Evil. Do, I mean, do we really have to recap on what happened with their sales and profits when it comes to their resume of, as of recently? <sighs> Deep breath. I don't. I, I just don't really have anything more to ask other than what games? What are you talking about for the next 25 years? You couldn't even get anything in the last few years. You, you don't even have anything now. 
you don't have any of the games that I've mentioned. Not only that, but we've had several other opportunities to see Mega Man, like in that Sony All-Stars Battle Royale crossover uh, coming with all the Sony characters and all the third-party characters from uh, Konami, uh, Damco, Capcom. You included new Dante in that game uh, from the Capcom side of things, but you didn't t any make any mention about Mega Man, Sony, or... Seriously, who... I, I imagine that it's Capcom making the decisions, but I'm a little bit pissed because they put in new Dante. I, I understand that they want to take advantage of the advertising, but you're telling me that for the fucking 25th anniversary title? Well, for the 25th anniversary occasion, you're telling me that you couldn't put Mega Man in a fighting game? In any game? In any high-profile game that's gathering a lot of attention and support? and tournaments, and people going out there reserving copies? You're telling me that Mega Man has been shafted and relegated to a fucking social mobile game? That people can easily replicate in a, fl in a fucking Flash game? I can't believe this. And there's a reason that I'm showing off Mega Man X6 today. In fact, this is actually a symbolic representation of something that was actually never supposed to be. I wanted to include X5, but having footage from the previous game along with, uh, I mean, game footage of Mega Man X6 combined with the Mega Man X5, like, intro, it's a recap on the previous game. The point is, I have both, and they're supposed to represent something that should have ended a long time ago, but now doesn't need to. Like, they, Capcom has decided to continue making sequels. Which is what I would like to say. It's just, um, it's just me deciding, what is Capcom going to do with Mega Man in the future? You've got, like, two series on a, uh, Finet Note? On an ending there? You've got the Mega Man Battle Network series, and the Mega Man Zero games for the Game Boy Advance. They've come to their conclusion. But what about a possible Mega Man X9? What about Mega Man ZX3? And, again... I can't express it enough, but where's my Legends 3? God damn it. Oh, and uh, Mega Man Star Force 4 for the people who love that game. I'm not, I am not one to denigrate on any particular Mega Man series. I have uh, some of my own favorites. There are some that go into my personal taste. But hey, whatever is up to everybody. So yeah, about eight minutes into this, and this is all I have to ask. I'm very cynical. And I'm not very optimistic either. I would love to be proven wrong, and I would love to believe otherwise, but I just don't see this happening. What are they going to do for Mega Man's 25th anniversary besides a fucking social mobile game that probably isn't even worth shit in the hardcore market? And they have a Mega Man X uh, video anime uh, from Japan. It's called Rockman Holic. I'll also link that in the description below. It's, uh, watch it, give it a watch, you'll, you'll love what you see. You'll start to think, wow, somebody at Capcom is really thinking about Mega Man, but then you realize it's only two minutes, and possibly part of it a, a full cut that may come in December that you may have to purchase from the iTunes store. I don't know how they'll do it. It might be Japan only right now. Stuff like this usually does come to the West. I mean, we've had the Devil May Cry soundtrack, the Street Fighter soundtrack, uh, maybe Resident Evil. All in all, this video isn't just really me expressing my anger. It's made me more curious than angry, if anything. I would just like some closure. In fact, I think all Mega Man fans would just like to know, why can't, like, w like with all these games getting outsourced, why can't we see Capcom delivering Mega Man to, I don't know, maybe CyberConnect? Or KG Inafune's new studio called Concept, where he's making games for the PlayStation Vita and maybe the uh, console market. Why can't we see Mega Man outsourced to studios that are either Western or act like they're Western? We've seen this with Resident Evil getting outsourced to Slant 6. Uh, freaking, I don't know, Devil May Cry getting outsourced to Ninja Theory. Lost Planet 3 getting outsourced to Spark Unlimited. Some of these studios are questionable, and I'm not trying to say that anyone should just be able to get their hands on these high-profile franchises. What I am saying is, they're willing to give their licensing over the series to other companies, but they're not willing to do anything with Mega Man? You're not willing to repeat the same pattern with one of your iconic mascots? Mega Man is practically top tier up there with Ryu. In fact, I'm going to say that he is. He's been around just as much as Street Fighter has. 
So you're telling me that you've got all of your other bases loaded, but not the one who practically got you up there? He made your company what it is today. Well, actually, I, I, I should backtrack a little bit on that statement. He made your company what it was before you started plumbing it into the ground. Capcom Japan. And maybe Capcom USA is guilty by this. I've actually had enough of seeing Japanese properties being outsourced to the West and just handing the keys to them like like you're the mayor of the freaking city giving away one of your per, like big prized possessions to some stranger who probably hasn't even done anything he hasn't gone into a, a house on fire and saved some kids he hasn't done jack shit to be awarded uh, for it he hasn't had a resume no i just wish i could see a mega man game a genuine mega man game Produced with a lot of love and labor, and a lot less of the animosity between a majority of the fan base and Capcom. This publisher, developer, studio, company, corporation doesn't even know what to do with one of their most respected franchises. I still have my respect for Mega Man. I just don't respect the company now that Inafune is gone. Without him. What can they do with this character or this series, besides shoving Zero into a couple more games? And, uh, Project Crosstown. I can't wait for Namco to localize that game, assuming that they do, and I really hope so. I would love to get my hands on that, like a X, Zero, Classic Dante, Tron Bond, Dimitri, uh, anything else that I can think of off the, off the top of my head. Chun-Li, Morgan, Ryu, Ken, Frank West, Ashenko. Oh man, a lot of characters, and that's just Capcom, there's also Sega and Namco, but uh, that is for another time. This video is also a representation of my prelude to the Mega Man anniversary stuff I have planned for this December. So stay tuned to it, and keep subscribing to me, and watch my shit. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, enjoy what you like, tell me what you disagree with, or tell me what you think about all this. I want to have a great Mega Man 25th anniversary birthday event. Hell, leave it to the fans to do Capcom's job for them. So tell me what you guys think. It's actually pretty late. Again, I've got to stop doing these late night videos. Alright. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what games you're interested in. So, like, what's your like, what's your nostalgia moment with Mega Man? Well, tell me, how did you meet this character for the first time? Which sub-series did you pick out first? How old were you when you started out playing Mega Man games? Going to bed. Later, guys.